Hey, and beauty and viewers, what's up? Happy Sunday. Um, it's Taylor. First off, I want to say I make an apology, just like I didn't make a video last week. I was dealing with a lot of personal shit that I'm still working through. And, like, I just, I'm just gonna apologize now for not making a video. I'm trying to stay up on streak with everything, and it's just been pretty hectic with a lot of internal bullshit that I'm working on. Um, but, yeah. This week's topic is kind of talking about our gender identities, like, where we stand in that definition, like, how we identify and kind of how discovering ourselves, I guess you could say, has opened up an opportunity to, like, kind of accept a lot of other things and kind of, like, help discover things such as sexuality. Um, so, just start, I identify as transmasculine. I don't really identify as a trans male, like, binary, bi-binary term here. Um, just because, I don't know. I, it's been very recent, like, within the past month or two, where I've kind of been figuring myself out a little bit and realizing that I don't completely identify as binary male, but I do identify as masculine, so my presentation's not really going to change, if anything. I just feel comfortable the way I am, and I don't feel comfortable using, like, man, like, just to describe myself. But, like, I'm not really opposed to other people calling me man or dude or whatever, so, like, just going with it. But, yeah. Um, how that's kind of helped discovering myself and kind of discovering sexuality. Um, before I came out as trans, I identified very by like, a very, let's just say, gay female, let's go with. So I liked women. By, like, specifically women, like, femme women. I didn't really date, like, not, like, masculine, tomboyish. Because that's how I identified, and I felt like it would clash really well, like, poor, it would clash a lot, so I didn't do it, and I didn't feel comfortable doing it. So, like, I went into situations, like, looking for femme people to date, and kind of talked to, and those were the people I was attracted to, but, um, I was going through, like, when I started transitioning, and I kind of become more comfortable with myself, I totally realized that I don't identify as a straight mass, I just don't just identify as a straight trans man. So I don't like just women. In fact, I've actually started to like women less since kind of coming out as trans and like transitioning and like by January or February around there, I identified very much close to gay. Like very close. Like, I had flexibility and, like, I didn't really find myself attracted to feminine people as much as I thought I used to be. But now, going through and, like, progressing along with my travels, I, like, I, pref I'm, I don't know. I identify very fluid, so I don't really define my sexuality because it's so hard to define, and I don't really define it. I couldn't tell you what the definition of mine is. Um, but queer and pansexual are, like, interchangeable terms that it could be used to describe me. I just don't like labels, so I say fluid. And, like, I signed into a group yesterday, and I put question marks. And my mom knows that I'm fluid as fuck. And I told her, like, a few nights ago because of situations that have come up recently. Um, but, yeah. Um, just because last time... I, this is my second time making this video, but, like... I'm going to just cut it short, kind of do my life updates now so it doesn't cut out on me later in the run so I can post this and end my, like, video, I guess. I'm not trying to speed this up. I'm just really, like, cut on time. Um, first off, I am two months post-op, ten months on T, uh, feeling good, looking good. I'm very excited. I can start working out again. I'm going to start once I'm back at school. I move into school on Sunday, which theoretically is today when you all are watching this. I'll be moving in, but I'm not posting this. I'm making this Friday night. So, well, theoretically, it's Saturday morning. It's 2.40 in the morning because I can't sleep ever because of life struggles that have been going on and like that I've talked personally to friends about and I don't really feel comfortable disclosing here, but a lot of internal shit's been going on that I've been kind of battling on my own. Um, but, yeah. So I'm going to be back at UMass. You're going to see a new background, all this fun stuff. I'm talking really fast because I don't want this to cut out on me. Um, other things, not much. I'm single and mingling and very happy about it. Like, but y'all know that at this point. Like, I'm not in a relationship at all. Uh, but, yeah. I hope y'all have an awesome week. I'll see you next Sunday on Ambiguity. And stay cool. I love you all. Goodbye.